The thing about this strategy is they can work for a day. But longer than that, I think it's a fool's game. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Here's what you have to do when you have something like this. You have to find your true north. You have to find someone you trust, someone you believe in, someone you follow, and someone, if you, ask, if you have to, hang on every word. And I've got my guy. His name is Dr. Tony Fauci. That's F-A-U-C-H-C-I. F-A-U-C-I, but it's pronounced Fauci. He's an immunologist and director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the National Institutes of Health. He's been on our air. I've never spoken to him personally, but I read everything he says. Now, if this guy were a hedge fund manager, he'd be Ray Dalio. He's been right every single step of the way on this virus as well as every other one I've followed him with. Now, yesterday he gave an interview to the Washington Post, and my takeaway was you, sh- you should be buying the China off stocks. Because his message was anything but reassuring. Listen to this. Fauci says when when it comes to the coronavirus, quote, the general public is naive with regard to protection. And there's serious potential because it's already spreading rapidly, end quote. So then he's asked, can it be contained? Quote, the short answer, he says, is we're not past the point of containment. But it really does have the potential to turn into a global pandemic. He then continues Once you get multiple countries that have sustained transmission from person to person, then it's almost inevitable that it's going to start spreading here. End quote. Ouch. Travel bans? No. They're just merely buying time. They probably won't work. Fauci wants to help. The CDC wants to help. The NIH wants to help. The Chinese, they don't want those organizations' help. Not reassuring. That's why I want to take the other side of today's trade, why I find today's trade just instructive and nothing more. See, they show you where the coil springs are when Fauci changes his mind. I don't know when he's going to. He's real good, though. Remember, the global economy is slowing because of this virus. I suspect that most of the stocks that were up today have estimates on the street that are going to prove to be too high because of the outbreak and will need to be cut. Yes, we heard chatter on the Hill that Fed chief pals are back if things get out of control. But what we see in China is a country that seems a little too out of control to believe they contain the disease. And therefore, while I don't want to conflate life with money, I have to tell you, I think when estimates come down, stocks go down. Look, I want very much to throw in my, my, all of my body and all of my brain with the 83-year-old Chinese doctor or with the brilliant Ray Dalio. My instinct is to say that come April, it will die out like most fluid breaks, although if we don't solve it, it'll come right back in the, in the winter. But so far, so far, you have to be encouraged by the travel ban's effectiveness in this country, 13 cases. But this one's way beyond the ken of most investors or commentators. We're not epidemiologists. Hedge fund managers aren't. Plus, the disease can be episodic. I look at a Johns Hopkins chart that shows the numbers that recovered. Right now, they're growing amount of recovered versus the dead. It seems like an improving ratio. However, if you notice, after a big flurry of hope, lots of news articles, headlines, there's no luck with any vaccine. There's no luck with any medicines used before for other kinds of flu. There's nothing that any biotech company's been able to come up with, perhaps because the Chinese haven't exactly been super forthcoming. I have tremendous faith in our scientists but I have more faith in Tony Fauci telling it like it is. And I don't like how it is. The bottom line, until Fauci grows more positive, changes his view, until he says something optimistic, until he disavows the notion of a public health nightmare in other countries around the globe, I'm saying that I am staying squarely in the China off camp. You know what? I recommend that you join me. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.